Hello friends, this is Kalpesh Satasya. Today we are going to learn about debounce and debounce time in JavaScript. And today we particularly talk about in Angular how we can filter or how we can search in from the array or we can dis display the list of filtered data. So let's talk how we can utilize debounce and debounce time. Okay, I have created one Angular application using the angular cli so this is the fresh application and i have just added few codes which i can explain you what things we have and okay so let's we have the three variables the all names is the array of, of string the filter name is also array of string and one is the subject so this subjects we can have a subscriber so we see that how we can use the subject with the subscriber okay and uh, initial uh, on init we have the set names there we can have just couple of names we can push into the array and the another things is we have the subjects with the subscriber we can talk in that part but before that we have on key up event which we have hook in the text box when we keep up is event happen that time is fired so like you can see this we have the subject dot next and whatever we keep press the value we just passed into that and it's it's in here we have the subscriber with uh, subject with the subscriber so whatever we have type we got in as a term and we can filter on the, the all names and based on the results we set into this filters names but have you seen that like we have the debounce time we mentioned here so that debounce time without debounce time and with the debounce time what the difference we can quickly see I have just commented and let's this application is running okay if I type instantly result will print okay if I type instantly result is print I put this debounce and now you can see that it's I have we have put it this 200 milliseconds okay so it's just after pressing it's just take a while let me increase the time instead of 200 I make it the 500 so you can once after type it takes some time to load the data you see that but so that means if user is typing something like then if pause then and then it's going to be like hit that result so that means it's benefited to like it's not constantly calling the database services or api so it's paused to 500 uh, 500 milliseconds then once you done then then it is going to be hit this database server so that is the benefit so here we use the debounce time and the another st thing is debounce so what is the difference between debounce and debounce time you like observe that we have the debounce time with this fixed amount of time but in debounce we have add use the interval so that is the benefit you can pass the dynamic interval time let's say in this example i have uh, said the interval is 200, 200 millisecond and each time i am increase this 100 milliseconds so our interval time is going to be increased so that means you we can set the dynamic in, dynamic uh, interval time but both the work is similar just how to be benefit is we can in, we can set the dynamic interval time and debounce we have we don't have the choice debounce time we don't have the choice but debounce we have that choice we can pass the dynamic so let me let okay so if you see that if i press a it's 200 millisecond is delayed and once i press it again if you see it's in it increasing this time so that means like if i press a, a so it, now you can see each time every time it's increasing the 100 the millisecond so that is the main use of and debounce and debounce time so whenever we and the e here we have this two list one is the all names and the second is this filtered name so all that means we have this printed uh, all the errors name and here we have four, four ng4 with this filtered name so hope you like this video and how we can use the debounce and the debounce time in angular or in the javascript that is the pure javascript funda so if we can use in angular as well as javascript so guys hope you like this video please subscribe my channel if you are new into this channel please share the video and please like the bell button thank you guys